Hello everyone, today I'm excited to introduce you to a fascinating book titled Red Roulette, an eye-opening memoir that uncovers the inner workings of Chinese elite society and business. Penned by Desmond Shum, a former Chinese businessman, this riveting tale offers an insider's perspective on China's socio-economic transformation. Born in Shanghai, raised in Hong Kong, and educated in the United States, Shum's unique life journey provides a kaleidoscope through which we can view the East and West and understand their cultural and business practices. Red Roulette isn't merely a business story, it's a narrative that delves into the heart of China's political and economic life. The book reveals the complexity of doing business in China, where success often requires navigating through a labyrinth of government bureaucracy, building guanxi, the Chinese term for influential relationships, and sometimes engaging in morally gray areas. One of the central themes of Red Roulette is the concept of guanxi. Guanxi, in Chinese culture, refers to the relationships or connections that facilitate business and other dealings. It's an intricate network of trust, mutual benefits, and long-term obligations. But don't mistake it for mere networking or lobbying. Guanxi goes deeper, interweaving personal and professional lives, and often blurring the lines between the two. In Red Roulette, we get to see how Guanxi shapes the Chinese business landscape. Shum describes it as an invisible currency, one that can open doors no amount of money can. He tells us about the painstaking process of building and maintaining these relationships, often over lavish banquets and expensive gifts. He gives us an insider's view of this intricate dance, where one wrong step could mean disaster. He narrates his own experiences, detailing how relationships with government officials and navigating the opaque political landscape were crucial in his business endeavors. Shum shares personal stories and anecdotes that bring to life the complexity and intricacies of China's business world. He takes us on a journey from his humble beginnings in Shanghai to his rise as a formidable businessman in Beijing. Each chapter is filled with tales of negotiation, perseverance, and sometimes sheer luck. One particularly gripping tale is when he found himself in a high-stakes bidding war for a prestigious project, outmaneuvering competitors through a mix of strategy and guangxi. Shum also opens up about the darker side of his success. He speaks candidly about the pressure to maintain his position in a cutthroat environment and the moral compromises he sometimes had to make. His story is not just about wealth and power. It's also about the ethical and personal dilemmas he faced. In the end, his experiences serve as a mirror to the broader societal and cultural dynamics at play in China's elite circles. Red Roulette sheds light on the often hidden aspects of Chinese elite power structures. With every page turned, the veil is slowly lifted to expose the intricate dance between business and politics in China's high society. The impact of the book is profound. It's like peeking behind a grand, ornate curtain to discover the machinations that power the mighty machine. The book's revelations are nothing short of startling. Shum paints a vivid picture of how business and politics are so tightly entwined that it's often hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. From the importance of Guanxi to the subtle power plays within the corridors of authority, Red Roulette reveals the hidden rules of the game. Shum's candid narration is a stark contrast to the often glossed over narratives we usually encounter. The book is not just about his personal journey, but it's also a mirror reflecting the realities of Chinese society. His candid narration provides an invaluable perspective on the realities of Chinese society. This book is more than a memoir. It's a reflection on power, ethics, and the cost of success in a rapidly changing society. Red Roulette serves as a mirror, reflecting the interplay of business, politics, and the human spirit in the realm of China's elite. It's a narrative that transcends boundaries, offering valuable insights not only to those interested in business or politics, but also to those intrigued by the nuances of Chinese culture and society. The poignant personal stories, the vivid portrayal of Guanxi, and the candid revelations about the Chinese power structure make this book a compelling read. It's not just about the journey of one man. It's about the journey of a society, a journey that's as complex as it is fascinating. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this introduction has piqued your interest in Red Roulette by Desmond Shum. It's a book that's sure to leave you with a lot to think about. See you next time with more intriguing book insights.